There's something in this room with me. Please make it stop. Please stop if you were messing with me right now. Please stop. So the video that you're about to watch, um, I basically tap this as the insidious farmhouse. And uh, things progressively get worse for anyone who stays here, anyone who has lived here things progressively get worse. That's why you call it insidious, because it's just a chain reaction of events where something starts out subtle and gradually works its way. Uh, me personally, I witnessed a lot of subtle yet more violent events as the video goes on. Um, when we watched the footage back, uh, Dylan and I sat at the computer for about an hour and a half and we, we looked through this and Dylan's like, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, look at that, look at this. And um, <clears throat> When I was in there, there were certain things that I just didn't pick up. And there's also some parts of this video I have no recollection of even filming, which is odd as it seems. So I was very concerned watching the footage back simply because I don't remember just a few parts of this video. Um, there's definitely things I didn't pick up on while I was in the house that I'm sure you all are going to. So if you see anything in the background of these videos, if you hear anything in the background, like always, comment below and let me know. What's up everybody? My name's CJ Face and tonight, or today I should say, I'm taking you all on a pretty wild adventure. This right here is known to be called the Insidious House. People have out-of-body experiences here. Not really sure what we're going to experience tonight, but when I say we, I mean you and I because we're going on an adventure together. So if you're new to my channel, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button. I'm all alone today. Sonny is actually at an event with his daughter. She surprised him with tickets for a wrestling event, which is a really cool lover. So leaves me alone. So without any further ado, that was a bird. Okay. And that really scared me. So, um, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to shut this door right here and, um, I'm going to get going in here. But so as you all can see, I'm going to give you all a little bit of context of what we're up against here. So as soon as I walked in this place, it has like a really, 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 really cold vibe to it. Oh no. What's that thing about her say? Alright, I'm seeing there's footprints. Dora the Explorer, <laughs> CJ the Explorer. Oh my gosh, there is snakeskin. That is snakeskin right there, look. really creepy like is this the kitchen or Ew. oh my goodness gracious oh shit okay that's not cool
the rumor is with this place. Ew. That blood on it. The rumor is with this place is that they call it the insidious farmhouse simply because everyone who has ever moved into this place has vanished without a trace basically and it's um I'm interested to let's see what might be in these okay that's not coming open So, stories like this house definitely will creep anybody out, even veteran explorers, and this obviously follows, um, follows suit from what everyone says, that they do sometimes have, uh, like devil worshippers and people like that come in here. Hello? Hello? They're drinking. Look at that. Lock that back. Oh, look. That's an Illuminati symbol. That's exactly what that is. That's an Illuminati symbol. a little weird. Why in the world would there be plastic up on a window? So, all right, I'm going to go ahead upstairs, but there's, you know, it's, it's easily explainable sometimes coming into these places, um, creaks, different noises. If this is an extremely old farmhouse, it seems it was built back in the early 1900s, and I mean early, early 1900s. It's got a very weird sense of story about it for sure, but I mean, even though it's over 100 years old, I, I mean, my house has creaks, and it's almost brand new. Um, so a house like this is definitely going to have some creaks and stuff to it, so... Um, <clears throat> it's kind of one of these houses where I feel real short of breath. And, um, oh geez, I just realized I was stepping on that thing. So I'm guessing this would be an area where someone would perform some type of ritual or witchcraft or whatever you would use the pentagram and that for, but... 
So I'm going to go upstairs and uh, probably not the safest thing to do, but. Hello? Hello? that Jeez. What is that? Oh gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. Um What the hell? Alright, so, looks like somebody left some shoes behind. Yo, oh, that's a nasty pillow. What the hell is there a spatula up here for? Okay, there might be a gas grill that I don't know about in here. Sorry, you look better from across the room. Oh, okay, well. Oh my gosh, what the hell is there a pair of vice grips up here? Okay. If you'll see anything up there, comment below. Let me know. As I'm sure you all can hear, this is <clears throat> this is a house that's in between two busy towns. Oh my gosh. I'm burning these gloves.
I swear it sounds like something's downstairs. <clears throat> Again, I'm, I'm gonna chalk up most of this being, what is this? Okay, this is my debit card texting me. Saying I just spent something on PayPal, okay. <clears throat> Again, this, this house could definitely be um, just a little, uh, you know, a little bit more settled, or is settling, I should say. Um, but one thing I do want to come back and do here is explore at night and investigate at night. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set up the PMV box downstairs. And I'm going to go ahead downstairs. I'm going to set the PMV box up. And why is the carpet ripped? That's a little weird. It's almost like it's supposed to be pulled up for some reason. Or not. Maybe this one. No? Okay. All right, that's a little strange, but um, let's go ahead downstairs. Let's set the PMB box up. Okay, that's really strange. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna set the PMB box up in this living room here. Almost was like it was two living rooms, one right in there and one in here. So let me go ahead and set my camera up. And I think what I want to do, I should set the uh, PMB box up right there, and then um, see if we get any reactions out of this. And there's so many phone chargers too. Just notice that. Um, anything in this nasty house either. Um, this is also a good time for me to plug my merch. If you want this really cool looking signature series motivated hoodie, I'm going to recommend you go to shopmotivated.com right after this video. Put in my promo code CJF. Okay, I hit the button on this. It's okay. So, oh, stop. So I'm going to set this thing up right on this table over here where I pointed at. But for some of you who have not watched my videos before, <clears throat> or okay, so I just hit the stop record button on my camera by accident. But um, anyway, a PMB box is simple. This thing actually only will go off if it detects motion in front of it. So let it settle down for just a second. Okay, that was really weird. But as you can see, It will only go off when it detects motion, and if motion is constant in front of it, it will keep and continue going off. Now the range on this is only about three to five feet, so that's where I kind of got a little bit um, <clears throat> real cautious to put this in a real open area, so that way if something does go by it, it's got to be pretty close. So that's why I'm going to put it in a corner near a doorway or something like that, and this is the number one that, thing that people hear inside this place is actually footsteps and 
I mean, rightfully so, if this is a, an insidious type of house, I'm probably gonna have that. Just looking around here. I don't think this is uh, the... Don't make fun of me, but I gotta lift this up because I thought I just heard the box go off. Um, one thing that is rumored in this house also is that upstairs is supposed to be like a portal. And the portal, if you do a seance downstairs, it opens the portal upstairs, um, which kind of makes sense for the circle with the star, the pentagram thing, downstairs. Um, I don't know where the portal would be. It's going to obviously take a little bit of investigating, but um, typically it's where a really cold spot is in the home. This room is actually more, it's way more warm than the other room, in my just personal opinion. Um, this one just feels like real bleak and just negative, I guess you would say, so. <clears throat> and they also say that portals are usually in the corners of rooms. If it's in the center of a room, that's not good. That thing started playing. That would creep me out. Okay. It's not something you see every day. An antenna coat hanger. Alrighty then. Hmm. Alright, so uh, the PMB box hasn't gone off, which is good and bad news. But again, comparing these two rooms. You gotta be f kidding me. No damn way. Hello? 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 What the f What the f is going on in here? Hello? If there's a spirit here right now, make that thing stop. Make that thing stop right now.
of you to breathe. Make that stop. Please, make that stop. Please stop. Please make it stop. Please stop if you're messing with me right now. Please stop. I agree with that. It just got 10 degrees colder all of a sudden. Literally 10 degrees colder all of a sudden. Please stop. Please stop. I command you to stop. With all my power, I command you to stop. The door's open. All right, so I just stepped outside to just take a little bit of a breather and get some of this nasty air out of my lungs. And um, so clearly, um, I just think that the PMB box could have gone off for several reasons. One, if there was a human being in front of it, walking back and forth. <clears throat> or two, a spirit that is trying to get my attention in that one room. I'm going to go upstairs next with the PMB box. And we are going to see if maybe we can find the portal. So, um, in my opinion, the portal is going to be in the room to the left. Now, with the room being to the left... What I feel is colder, has a very cold spot and very chilling sensation in it. <clears throat> That's why I'm going to guess it's it's this here. Because if it wasn't this room and it's that room over there, it's like a... I almost feel like the heat would be on over there. Like that's just a temperature difference between these two rooms. The heat's clearly not on. There's no electric in this house. But I'm going to go ahead. <clears throat> And I'm going to break out the PMB box again. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to set it right here. I'm not sure where I could... <clears throat> they, I mean, a lot of people are always saying that portals are in the corners of rooms, um, just from my experience. But... When I'm, when I'm thinking about an insidious house, that's why they call it the insidious farmhouse. Is, oh, shoot, that was me. Um, I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable, but um, just uncomfortably comfortable. Um, just knowing there's not a homeless person here waiting to, to, to kill me. Um, but 
If a portal is in the center of the room from the research that I have personally done, what that typically means is really, really, really bad. I don't think there's a portal in the middle of this room. I can't be sure because I haven't done enough investigating in this room yet. So what I want to do is I want to turn on the PMB box and I'm going to stand completely still across the room. And I want to show you basically how this thing works. Okay? Now, I'm going to walk. I'm about three feet away from the uh, PMB box right now. And let me try... Damn it, every time I adjust the camera, I hit the stop button. But anyway, watch this. Okay, so then it goes off. All right, now, I'm gonna walk right here in the middle of the room. I'm gonna walk straight across just to show you the, the depth that this thing barely caught me right here. Okay, now I'm gonna walk a little bit further away, all the way across the room. As you can see, nothing. I'm going to walk back across the room this way. I'm about eight, maybe nine feet away from it. Nothing happens. Okay? I'm going to come in right here. So that's how you can tell the depth. So what I want to try and do <clears throat> is I'm going to stand right here. And as you can see, I'm going to make all kinds of motion. The PNB box is not going to go off. So I'm going to try to conjure a spirit to walk in front of the PNB box right now. Um, definitely nervous, just got a real cold vibe, even colder in this room. <clears throat> if there are any spirits here with me in this house, any demonic entity, any energy, I want you to make that spirit box, or not the spirit box, the PMB box go off. That's going to be my sign. If this room has a portal or not, this is going to be the sign. This is a yes or no type of question. And again, I'm opening up this session to talk to you with my PMB box. <clears throat> I want you to know that I am alone. I mean no harm. I mean no disrespect. But I do want to let you know that I want to communicate with you. I want to see if the rumors are true. I want to know and see what exactly is going on in this place. Why do these families just up and leave and literally leave town? Every single family who's lived in this house. I want to know why. And I can feel you in this room with me right now. I can truly feel you in this room. I've got chills, goosebumps all on my arms and legs right now. I want you to walk in front of this PMB box over here. I want you to walk in front of that. Make the, make the motion detector go off. Make it play music. If the music scares you, if you don't want to hear the music again like it was downstairs, I can break out the spirit box. But I'm going to leave that up to you. Just so you all can understand. I'm going to leave. Hello? <clears throat> I'm 
almost certain that that noise came from in here. I'm like almost 99% sure because it literally just sounded like it was right across the hall. So, I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> There's something in this room with me. Was there they call my dick? The glass is broke. The glass is broke. Okay, so, so here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and wrap up and just go ahead and get out of here. It's still a little bit light outside, but um, definitely want to stay here a little bit longer, but I, I need more people. I need way more people. I want like three people with me when we come back here at night. I, I just... There's no way in hell that could have just fell off like that. There's no freaking way. seen the whole video now and you're probably just as creeped out as I am and more concerned probably than anything 
Uh, when I left this house, I got on the phone to Sonny and he didn't answer because he was at a wrestling event with his daughter Summer. And uh, he called me back eventually. We started talking about this place and I'm like, listen man, like this is a place where, where you know, I, I need more than just myself. I need you. I possibly need more people. Um, because I, I just, this house concerns me for the simple fact, not a safety standpoint, but when you're alone, you are way more susceptible to things happening. And spirits are way more likely to mess with you than it is a big group of people. So um, I, I truly think that there was something that was trying to get my attention and almost attach themselves to me um, as far as finding the portal in that room. Um, I was not successful in that, so I want to go back. So what I want you all to do, I want you to get this video to 12,000 likes. If you get this video to 12,000 likes, I'm gonna bring Sonny with me. We're gonna go there, we're gonna film, and we're gonna see what we can, what we can capture, what we can, and, and, and basically, uh, maybe even do a way more thorough investigation. There's a lot of things within this video that I'm sure you picked up on that I did not even see that are extremely concerning to me and quite honestly have me freaked out. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I really do. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for watching this video. I'm going to do a special promo code for 30% off all sunglasses. All you have to do is type in promo code SHADES30 and that's going to get you 30% off of any pair of sunglasses that you want. So go ahead, do that. This for the next 48 hours only after this video drops. So do me that big favor, just type in that promo code. If you like these t-shirts that I'm wearing right here, this is our all new, always motivated t-shirt. It's gonna keep you motivated. And I promise you one thing, I wear this not just because it's my brand. I wear this because I simply feel empowered and motivated by putting on this shirt. It simply reminds me every time that I look down or every time that I put one of these shirts on, I just feel that much better because, you know, I wanna leave you all off on a very positive note for a very uh, insidious video. I want to just say this right here. The impact that every single one of you all have made on my life is far greater than the impact I make on you. And through Motivated, that's what I want to do for each and every one of you. And again, this is not a product pitch whatsoever. If you want to buy the product, that's awesome. If not, no harm, no foul. But I do want to just say thank you for supporting my channel and my videos. I love each and every one of you so much. See you all next time for the next part, which will be with Sunny. So get this thing 12,000 likes. We'll see y'all then.